So first, we'll have to open Android Studio as you, you normally do by clicking on Android Studio on the application menu or taskbar if you are in Windows. I will have to wait for some time. Android Studio is a heavy application, so it will take time to open. Okay, let it load the components. Okay, Android Studio is loading components. Okay, now I was working on an application, a flat application. As you can see, this is the code. I've named it my first Flutter application. As you can see, these are the codes. Uh, I can close the tooltip. Okay. As you can see, I've load, I've opened and the studio as, as usual. Let me close this notification. Okay, if you look here at the devices, you see. The only device showing is Linux, Linux desktop because I'm in Linux, but I want to open the Android emulator. If you try opening the emulator now, it will open in inside Android Studio at the right section of Android Studio. And as you can see, I have uh, an emulator. So if I click, click run, it will open inside the Android Studio, but it's so first close the project by clicking files, the top left corner, and click close. Then once the project is closed, click in the three dots, the top right corner, and select device virtual device manager. A uh, window will pop up. Select run. Okay, it's open and it's the emulator. Okay, now the emulator is open and outside Android Studio. Let's give it time to load. Remember, this process can take up to even three minutes depending on your PC. It requires around 8 GB to run this application. So, as, as we wait, we can navigate back to our application just I was working on my fl first flutter app so I just click on my first flutter app okay let's give it some time and uh, now we as you can see the Emulator is on and uh, is booting. It is Google Pixel, so that's the OS and the boot menu, bootloader, Google. To give it time, some time. You can see it has already opened. You can see some wallpaper, the battery bar, and such stuff. That's basically it. We've already opened the Android emulator outside Android Studio. Uh, once open like this, you can use the emulator with another application like Visual Studio Code or even the terminal for hacking. If you are working on a Kali Linux, Parrot or Black Arch system. That's it. Thank you guys and welcome again.